everybody, this is Boog S Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Marvel Legends Lizard Builder figure. So let's hop right on into this review. So let's take a look at the head sculpt. So for the head sculpt, I really love that head sculpt. It looks fantastic, and has very nice sculpting detail to it. It has lots of sculpting detail, like the scales. They feel real, so... It has fantastic sculpting detail too, and even paint detail. I like how it goes from the really dark green and then fades into that brownish green color. And his eyes look really good. Um, one thing people did complain about with this builder figure was it looked too much like a dinosaur, like it didn't look enough like a lizard. But I think it looks really good. I think it looks more like the um, Marvel Knights Spider-Man lizard. Um, I think it was drawn by Terry Dodson, I want to say. It reminds me of that lizard, because th that's how th that lizard looked. It kind of depends on the artist, honestly. So, and that looks good. And he has very nice sculpted teeth, and a little bit of gums. I think that maybe Hasbro should have made this pink and smooth on the inside, like painted it pink to make it like the inside of his mouth instead of just his neck right there when you open his mouth that looked kind of funny and then he has this really long tongue and I think it should have been bendable that would have been really awesome but yeah, it's just it's just very rubbery kind of plastic like has super long tongue like you can pick a nose with his tongue <laughs> I don't know uh, looks like it could be removable like if you boiled it you could get that off there if you wanted to I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. I don't know. I kind of like it as is. And a, a thing that I really like about this figure is it, it kind of takes a new approach to Lizard. Uh, this shirt is a separate piece over the figure. It's actually like a, kind of like a jacket over it. Like, it slips on over the figure. Um, I mean, it comes on the figure in the package. But, so they could have really good sculpting and paint detail to it, they made it and the shirt a separate piece. So in the rips right there, you get a lot of good detail because it's a separate piece, and I really like that. That looks really nice. And then he has some rips right here. And a little bit of the white is showing through there because they painted the green scales over the white jacket right here. And he has a jacket that is covered in holes, or his lab coat. It's, I keep calling it a jacket, but it's his lab coat, I should say. Now his tail... uh it does kind of bother me because it it isn't bendable and Hasbro really really should have made that bendable because if you do that it just looks way too square like that just looks funny like it doesn't look natural I mean even if you have his tail straight out like that it just looks way too pointy I think it should be bendable and it's kind of meant to go one way because the light green scales right here all line up it's kind of meant to go like that. But he, the way his legs are, he really doesn't stand up too great. So you either have to have it completely like that, or like I had him at the beginning of this review. Like that. I don't know, I think it does stand up better if you have the tail like that. But it does kind of look funny. And he has a little bit of dirt right here on the forearms of his lab coat. And at the bottom right here. I feel like they went a little overboard with the dirt, making it look dirty, because this is, like, way too clean. If his sleeves and the bottom of his lab coat are this dirty, I feel like it should have maybe just a little bit of a wash or a dry brush and a brown over it. I don't know, it's just a little nitpick. It's nothing really major. I just feel like there's a lot of... It's supposed to look really dirty right here, but then it's completely white up here. And trust me, if, if, if the bottom's going to get dirty and he's fighting Spider-Man, the whole thing's going to get dirty, not just a couple areas. And his pants look pretty good. They were just cast in purple and the green was painted over them. But I don't see any runs, so that's really good. I don't see any purple runs. Well, right there, just a little bit. But not much. Looks pretty good. Yeah, right here you get a little bit of purple showing through right here on his kneecaps. And uh, sometime I want to try and do a tutorial on uh, switching the kneecaps. If you flip him, he's supposed to stand up a little more straight. 
because his legs are just posed like this, and there's really hardly any articulation right here on the knees because of that. So there are his feet, and his feet look pretty good, but like I said, it's kind of meant to just stay up like that because there's that smooth place right there where there's no sculpting because his feet are meant to do that. It doesn't really bother me. I think it, it actually looks pretty cool like that. But I do want to boil the legs to try and see that, uh, see how it looks with the kneecaps flipped. And the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to uh, boil the figure and get the joints all gummy and everything. That way, if I don't like it, I can't switch it back, you know? That way, I won't be breaking anything or anything like that. So now let's go over the articulation of Lizard. So he has a ball jointed neck that can look up all the way. And it can look down just a little bit. And it can move side to side. He has swivel at the head that can move up just a little bit. And down all the way. He also has swivel jaw. His head swivel and the jaw swivel is connected. Um, in my previous review I did for Lasher and uh, Spider-Man Noir, I accidentally popped the head off. And you'll see what kind of joint it is if you go back and watch that review. He has ball jointed shoulders that can move out all the way. It kind of surprised me because his lab coat got in the I figured his lab coat would get in the way. But it's really soft, so there's that. He has swivel at the bicep, double jointed elbow, swivel at the wrist that can move up and down. Pretty good. And side to side. He has an ab crunch that can move up just a little bit. Uh, he's kind of made to do that be kind of hunched over because his tail if you put it up like that then it just stops it right there the lab coat and the tail get in the way of that and he can crunch forward all the way he has ball jointed hips that uh, they can move out all the way but it really looks funny with the leg with the way his legs are because if you do that that just looks funny <laughs> that looks so funny um, he can kick forward, but again, that looks really funny because of the way his legs are kind of pre-posed. And he can kick back just a little bit. He has double-jointed knees that really don't function at all because of the way his legs are. He has swivel at the ankle to move up and down. And he has an ankle rocker. And he has swivel at the toes, which I think that's, uh, like the only figure recently that Hasbro's made that actually has swivel at the toes. Um, I suppose you could pose him like this, but that kind of looks funny too. Makes him look really, really short. Like, let me let me show him next to Spider-Man here. I feel like Lizard should always be kind of a bigger character. So there he is next to Spider-Man, and he definitely looks way too short like that. So let's put him the way that he's meant to be posed here. Okay. So now, here he is next to Spider-Man, and eh, I suppose it didn't make a bunch of difference, but eh, doesn't look too bad like that. You know, if I, if I flip the kneecaps here, or the knee joints, then that should make him a lot taller than Spider-Man. Uh, should. Keyword should there. So, before I take a look at the, uh, the figures from this wave, least favorite to favorite, I am going to show him next to the previous versions of Lizard. So, here he is next to the Spider-Man Classics Lizard figure. And this one is probably the closest to the classic comic uh, Lizard. And it looks... Hmm, pretty good. Uh, this one didn't have too much articulation because this was kind of like the beginning of Toy Biz's run on Marvel Legends and Marvel figures. Um, there's also a Hasbro version that's just a repaint of this version. I have it somewhere, but I only found this one because they're practically the same ones, just painted a little differently. And then here he is next to the... Uh, is it Fearsome Foes? I want to say Fearsome Foes Lizard. Uh, the Fish and Foes box set lizard. And this one is a little more lizardy looking. <laughs> and has a lot more sculpting detail and paint detail to it than the uh, Spider-Man Classics version. 
I think uh, a lot of people refer to this as like the definitive lizard figure. And I have to agree, this is my favorite lizard figure. But this build figure is definitely a close second. Um, mainly because I like updates to old figures, so that's why I like this one too. But honestly, both of them are really, really awesome. So now I'm going to do size comparisons with the figures from this wave, from my least favorite to favorite figure. Um, I don't have uh, Spider Punk, so I can't do a size comparison with him or rank him in this. So, my least favorite figure of the wave is Lasher. He came with no accessories and was kind of just a bland figure overall. I mean, he kind of just looks like a melted crayon. It's not that exciting to me. <laughs> Up next is Prowler. He's kind of the same way. He doesn't come with any accessories. I think Hasbro missed a chance to give him an unmasked head sculpt and alternate hands. I mean, if you wanted, you could probably give him the... Uh, the Civil War Black Panther head sculpt, since that head sculpt doesn't really look like Chadwick Boseman. Um, I haven't tried that. I need to try that. But I think Hasbro really missed a chance of giving him more accessories than he had. Um, up next, in the middle here, is Spider-Woman. She didn't come with any accessories, but I do like this figure because I love this design for Spider-Woman. Um, she still doesn't have any accessories, so, so there is that. Up next is Mysterio, a figure that took me forever to get. And see, Lizard should definitely be taller than Mysterio. Up next, at number two, is Spider-Man Noir. This figure is just very awesome. And I just love it. Like, it's, it's a lot of reused parts, but I've wanted a Spider-Man Noir 6-inch figure for quite a while. I know when they made a 3 inch one before the 6 inch one I was angry, but um, a couple years later, well a few years later, I think this, is a, this isn't a 2017 wave, this is a 2018, um, in 2015 they made the 3 inch figure of him. So quite a few years later, we finally got the 6 inch version. And at number 1, this should not be surprising to anyone that watched my review of her, the number one my number one favorite figure from this wave is Gwenpool. She came with tons and tons of accessories and uh, didn't like her swords so I switched them uh, to classic Deadpool swords but she is the kind of figure that I like. I love lots of accessories, alternate hands, alternate heads, swords, uh, she, she even has a phone. So this is definitely my favorite figure out of the wave. And she fell over. And finally here he is next to Spider-Man. Like I said, I still need to get Pizza Spider-Man instead of having this one because I think Spider-Man went back to his normal suit now. I don't think he's using this one anymore. So overall, this Venom, not Venom, <laughs> this Lizard Build-A-Figure is really awesome and I would highly recommend it. Um, if, if you didn't really want the Build-A-Figure pieces from Lasher, uh, Prowler, or Spider-Woman, I would just recommend getting the or if you don't want the figures, I mean, if you don't want the figures, just get the build figure pieces from them. But uh, Mysterio, Noir, and Gwenpool, I would definitely recommend getting. So overall, this build figure is really awesome. And sometime I'm going to get around to doing a video on a tutorial on how to swap these uh, kneecaps here. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.